What's going on everybody? Jeans here, back again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we got ourselves a pretty fun team. We're rocking up with Corviknight on the rank ladder. Super cool Pokemon. One Pokemon that I absolutely love, definitely one of the core regional birds that really doesn't get that much loving on the rank ladder. So, like I already said, I'm super excited to actually be using this Pokemon. We got it with T-Tar here. We got Choice Specs Fluttermane, Hisuian Arcanine hat. That has been all over the meta. Then for a nice little support Pokemon, we got Prankster Olamide. So, this team should definitely be fun, and hopefully we can grab some wins for you guys and showcase this team really well. But, um, you guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it takes two seconds of your time, and it really helps me grow as a content creator. But Titar is going to be the first Pokemon that we talk about in today's team preview. And Titar, oh my god, love this Pokemon so much. Sand Stream, Wide Lens to help Rock Slide land more frequently. That's definitely going to help me out, because I am the king of missing attacks. Heat Waves, Rock Slides, I miss them all the time. So Wide Lens is definitely going to help us out with that. It's got high horsepower, knock off, and protect for its other three moves. In our second slot, we got our lovely support Pokemon with Ulamize. It's got Prankster as its ability and a Mental Herb as its item. It's got Tailwind and Thunder Wave both for speed control. Then it's got Encore and Infestation to be a pesty little move that can actually deal damage at the end of every single turn. In our third slot, we got Fluttermane, top tier special attacker, especially when it has the choice specs as its item. Its moveset consists of Moonblast, Dazzling Gleam, Shadow Ball, and Thunderbolt. You guys seen this Flutter main do work plenty of times. In our fourth slot, we got Water Urshfu. Now, Water Urshfu is that guy. He's him. Water Urshfu is him. Top tier in Regulation E can really take out pretty much any Pokemon. And then has Unseen Fist and the Mystic Water as an item. With Surge Strikes, Close Combat, Aqua Jet, and Protect. You guys seen that plenty of times as well. In our fifth slot is a Pokemon that probably low key took over Regulation E. Hisuian Arcanine, Intimidate, Citrus Berry, Flare Blitz, Rock Slide, Howl, and Protect. This Pokemon has been on pretty much all top tier Regulation E teams. In our final slot is going to be the lovely Corbury. Absolutely love this Pokemon ever since it was released in Sword and Shield. It's got Mirror Armor, which is such a cool ability, and then Leftovers as its item. Rock and Iron Head, Brave Bird, Bulk Up for that attack and defense boost, and Taunt to Taunt opposing support bonds. Guys, you want to rent the team for yourself? Run the code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that ranked double ladder. Let's grab some wins with this Corbin 19. First match coming at you guys, and we're going up against an enamorous team. Such a cool genie that you don't really see too much on the rank ladder, but still, it's very strong at the same time. They got Grimstarl for support, Chi Yu to probably pair up with any special attackers such as Enamorous, and then they're rocking out with Tornadus, Shen Pao, and Landris. So I feel as Intimidate, or not Intimidate, uh, Mirror Armor Corviknight can come out here pretty well here for the lead, considering they do have an Intimidate Pokemon. And then on top of that, we could bring Illumise maybe just for a bit of speed control. Could definitely do that if we want to. Definitely a possibility. Do I want to lead Illumise? Kind of, a little bit. I could also go in with an Intimidate Pokemon, or I could more so go in with Fluttermane. Fluttermane would not be bad. Hmm. What is the player? I could actually go Corviknight more so as a back-end Pokemon, but I always like leading it. I definitely always like leading this. So maybe I'll just lead Urshfu here. Because if they do intimidate me, we can really just start certain strikes and uh, get off some big time damage. So you know what? I'm going to do that. Bring T-Tar in the back end. And then either Hisuian Arcanine or Fluttermane. And from the Pokemon that we're going up against, I think Hisuian Arcanine can be really, really good. So instead of Fluttermane, I'd rather have Hisuian Arcanine. The rock damage or the rock moves are going to be so helpful for us. Right, it's going to be super effective onto the genies, onto the Shen Pal, onto the, uh, well, they have many genies do they have? They have three genies. <laughs> they have three genies. They have Enamorous, Tornadus, and Landers. So, I like the Rock Pokemon here. Especially with T-Tar on the squad as well. The Sandstream will definitely uh, benefit them. Nice little Rock type Pokemon. So, they're going to end up sending out one genie and Grimstar. So, Enamorous, which is super cool to see. And... Grimstar on. And I think now is just a solid turn just to set up a bulk up. And the reason I say that is because I really like her typing here. Especially up against Enamorous. The typing is just so perfect. So I'm going to go for the bulk up. Um, I'm going to go into Surgeon Strikes and I'm going to just start teeing off onto this Enamorous. That's going to be my play. I'm going to end up faking out Urshfu. That's fine by me. And the Springside Storm is just going to not take us out, which is massive. That is massive. And that thing's actually pretty fast. I think it's actually pretty fast. So I wasn't really expecting to fake out. But I do end up getting to survive here. 
so I'm able to boost my defense stats and my attack stats and get some leftovers HP. So what I could do here is actually just protect an Iron Head through. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Protect the Urshfu, try to look to get off some big time damage onto the uh, Enamorous. We're really hoping it's not the fast slides. That move actually did a huge chunk of damage. The thing is, I didn't mind it using a fairy move. I did really think that Grimstarnel was a rocket fake out. I thought he was just going to pop a screen, so I thought we were just going to be able to get off a big time turn. But Grimstarnel faked out. It faked out. That's what's so good about Grimstarnel. It can really go either way. A lot of time it rocks screens, but every here and there you'll get a parting shot, one with fake out, and all those good moves. Not to say this one is not screens. It still definitely could be screens, but usually when the rock can fake out, they're not really screens. Yeah, it's gonna scary face here. The scary face is... Oh, it's contrary. It's contrary. He goes for a superpower. That's fine by me. So contrary enamorous, whenever its speed or whatever its stats drop, it raises. So instead of going minus two from scary face, it gives plus two, but we make a great protect. And we end up iron heading just to drop it out. So core of the night, teeing off here so far in match number one. It's going to be super effective on this Grimstone, and I think I'm just going to keep constantly going for nice little Iron Heads. So we got the bulk up here. We're hoping he throws another physical attack out here. It's going to be Chiyu. So now, this is where we get into a little bit of problems. Slight issue. What's your terror type? Dragon. That's actually pretty good. It's actually really good. Nice little dragon terror type. We go for the Brave Bird. I wonder if you're faster. 139, you're probably not faster than Chiyu. I could go into the Sandstorm. Which wouldn't be bad, but I'm thinking of just going here. Just a nice little Terra. And double down into Chiyu with that and Aqua Jet. That's exactly what I'm going to do. If Urshfu dies out here, Urshfu dies out. It's not that big of a deal. But now's the perfect time to actually terrestrialize the bird. If we can get rid of Chiyu, that's going to be massive. Especially with two Rock-type Pokemon in the back end. Love it. Love it. So we'll hit that Terrasalize button. I love the steel typing, but especially with Geo on the field, we can't really afford to deal with that. Aqua Jet's gonna come out here, and Aqua Jet's gonna do a huge chunk of damage. Fake Tear's gonna come out here, probably onto Corviknight, and I mirror armored, so I send it directly back at him. Heat Wave's gonna fly. Big time terror for us. Still doing a huge chunk of damage on the Corviknight. But from here, it's gonna be pretty nice to actually just get rid of the Geo. This pretty cool. The Brave Bird coming out, you're finishing off cheap. Yo, Corviknight, killing it in match number one. Absolutely killing it. So, we'll see who they want to throw out here in their final slot. I'm definitely going to bring it out. I think now's a good time to bring out Titar. Right? What do I bring out, Arcanine? I'm going to bring out Titar. Even though I know they have a fairy type on the field, I think Titar's still going to be pretty good here. They're going to bring out Shen Pao. So, Shen Pao comes out here. This is where things get a tad bit scary, right? This is actually where things get scary. I and mean, we have the Sandstorm, which will take off Focus Ash. But things get scary here because they probably are rocking Spirit Break and Secret Sword. But I'm going to go Rock Slide. I'm going to go Iron Head here. We'll see what he wants to do. They have Terra type still. They still have Terra type, which might get used on the Shen Pao here. I don't know. But Sandstorm's going to work wonders here. We'd love the Sandstorm. Going to take off Focus Ash. Chance our Shen Pao have it. Has it. The thing is, if this Shen Pao is Rocket Sacred Sword, which it most likely is, that could take out my T-Tar in one shot. And then Spirit Break coming across could really get some work done. But he ends up terrestrializing the Shen Pao. He's going to go into a straight Ice type, which is totally fine. Really doesn't do much for him, right? It just takes away the Dark type, and our moves are still super effective. Ice Shard's going to come out here. Okay, so you're not rocking... You're not rocking the what's it called? The Focus Ash or the uh, Sacred Sword. And we end up being able to drop a Rock Slide. And on top of that, Iron Head here. And that should pretty much just wrap things up. Taking out the Grim Snarl. Corviknight's going to die to Buffets. Shen Pao's going to go to pretty much 1 HP due to Buffets. And then I can just protect and pretty much win this game. Come on, man. That's too easy. That's too easy. Awesome. All right, Corvo Knight, thanks for coming out here. Three KOs from Corvo. Corvo ripped. Corvo ripped. It definitely did rip. So now I'll go into Hisuian Arcanine. Actually, I don't even have to. I don't even have to protect. I really don't have to protect because 
Chen Pao has no double hitting moves, so I could just double down. But I'll play it safe. I'll just go double protect here. Let the Buffets finish this one off. And they just cancel battle. So 1 0 to get things started. Let's go hop through a second match. Look to go 2 0. We're here, ladies and gentlemen, on our second match, going up against a Weezing team alongside with Roaring Moon. So, Weezing pairs up good with the Protosynthesis Pokemon and the Booster Energy. Really rocks out with it. So, I believe they're going to be leading Weezing and probably Roaring Moon or Weezing and Fluttermoon. From here, I could go Corviknight. We won't have our ability Mirror Armor, but I still like Corviknight here, just on a Corviknight level, because it's going to be super effective on the Fluttermane, plus Bulk Up's going to be really, really good. We have the Dragon Tiger type in case Ogre Palm wants to come out here. Corviknight, great Pokemon. So I'm going to lead Corviknight here again, or maybe I should just go Support. I could go Support, but if I don't have ability, it's really not going to work out well for us, so there's really no point. So I'm going to go Corviknight here, and I'm also going to go Fluttermane. Butter main's gonna be great, and I'll bring Urshfu in the back end. And Hisuian Arcanine or Titar? I like Arcanine a bit better here. I do like Arcanine a bit better, so we'll lock him in here. And this one seems like it's gonna be pretty tough. I've seen this team a couple of times on the rank ladder. And it always plays very, very simple, but very, very well at the same time. So we'll see how this one plays. Like I said, or like you guys saw, we are one and up. So happy I got to showcase Corbin Knight in that first match, and not just showcase it, absolutely kill it with it. Set up that bulk up and then just start shredding through. But here's the lead, I kind of expect it. I get to bring out both of these Pokemon, which I love. And I think it's just an easy bulk up turn, right? I think it's just a simple bulk up turn. He's gonna Protosynthesis and boost his speed probably, right? Yeah. So with the speed boost, we definitely want to go for bulk up. Do I just straight up attack? I could go Gleam, I could go Moonblast. Um, most of these guys rock the Poison Terror type. So if he's gonna Poison Terror type, I think I'm just gonna rip a, a Shadow Ball. Or maybe just like a Thunderbolt. He's gonna Poison Terror type. I'm just gonna throw a Shadow Ball into the slot, into the Roaring Moon slot. I, I really do think he's just gonna Thrasslice here, correct? It makes the most sense. It makes the most sense. So I'm just going to throw a Shadow Ball into the Warning Moon slot. Um, he could maybe protect it. But no, he just ends up dropping a Tailwind. The Tailwind comes out here. What's this Weezy going to do? That's the real question. Going for a Will O Wisp. And the Corviknight's dodging it, which is pretty, pretty nice, not going to lie. The Shadow Ball is going to come out here. Do a little bit of damage, not bad. And Bulk Up's going to fly out there. Wow, I could have just Daz and Gleam that turn. You were just gonna let me Daz and Gleam and KO? That is absurd. That is absurd. He's gonna try to poison me again. We already know what he's doing. We already know what he's doing. I would love to taunt him. I'm gonna go for a taunt. And I mean, I'm choosing a Shadow Ball now, which kind of sucks, but uh. So we launch into Roaring Moon again? Actually, you know what? We're just gonna do this. This we're already bulked up. I'm just gonna throw the Iron Head over in this slot. And I'm just gonna Shadow Ball into the Weezing slot. He just ends up protecting. Okay, so he's still gonna just look to get off this burn here. Kind of annoying. And he ends up taunting me. That's fine. I'm already attacking now. He ends up taunting me. Good thing I didn't go for the taunt. <laughs> Shadow Ball is gonna come across here. It's gonna go into the Weezing slot. We're now choosing for this. And that's some nice damage. That is some nice damage. Maybe another Shadow Ball KO. I really hope so. I really do hope so. So Iron Head's gonna come out here. It is gonna get blocked. We're bulked up again, which is beautiful. And we're wasting out these Tailwind turns really, really well. So I'm just gonna go for an Iron Head. I'm just gonna drop another Shadow Ball. Kinda hoping he just wastes his Terror type. <laughs> like, it's for just attacking. He goes for a knockoff. He's gonna take off for Leftovers. Kinda hurts his soul. I like the Leftovers. And will o is also gonna start burning us. Come on, man. You don't gotta do me like that. You don't gotta do me like that. The Shadow Ball gets cooking. Can this KO? I think it should. It does. Beautiful. So, Weezing off the field. Weezing is off the field. Neutralizing gas is gone. And we're ready to go. Iron Knight comes out here. That's a little bit of damage. Nothing crazy. But Corp Knight is really losing its value, especially with the burn on the field. Now they're going to bring out Ogre Palm. And this is where things get a tad bit scary, right? A 
Ted. Re real scared, right? And I'm thinking of just dropping a Brave Bird into you. Maybe just swapping it into his Swimming Arcanine, right? Yeah, I'm cool with swapping into his Swimming Arcanine here. Drop a nice little Intimidate and resetting our choice. Specs. So this is going to be a little tough because we're wasting out these Tailwind turns, but at the same time, once Tailwind ends, he can really just set it right back up with, uh, with Roaring Moon. Roaring Moon is just that quick, especially with the purpose of this is Bob. It just gets scary. He ends up putting the mask on the Ogre Pond. And yeah, we're gonna we're, we're gonna have a little problem with Ogre Pond. We're gonna have a little problem with Ogre Pond. Maybe I can get a crit with my Brave Bird and just take this thing out. That would be top tier. I wish I did have E Speed on this Arcanine. It'd be massive. So Breaking Swipe's gonna come out. He's gonna drop attack. Actually, he's gonna drop his own attack. We like that. We don't mind that. We don't mind that. But Ogre Pond's a real threat right here. I because you're coming out here. And are you taking out my? Now you're going after the flood of inside. Which we're able to soak pretty well here. Beautiful. Brain Bird gonna come across here. Not bad damage. We like that damage. We like that damage. So with Roaring Moon minus two on attack, as long as I can just soak up the shot, maybe land a rock slide onto him. That'd be nice. Actually, I might swap into I was gonna say T Tar, but we don't have it. That wouldn't have been a bad play to swap into T Tar. But from here, I'm just going to double down into, into Ogre Pond. Rock Slide should be able to do a huge chunk of damage. We're really hoping a Spiky Shield doesn't come out here. And if I get rid of Ogre Pond, that'd be massive. I don't know if we can. He ends up taking out my Citrus Berry. Dang, I kind of need that. Ivy Cudgel coming out here. He's just going to take out Corviknight. So as long as Arcanine can land this Rock Slide, this should KO the Ogre Pond. And maybe KO the Roar Moon, but still do big damage to it. No, we don't even KO the Ogre Pond. Alright, good thing we have Aqua Jet. Good thing we have Aqua Jet. Alright, cool. Good thing we have Aqua Jet. <laughs> so, Urshifu is going to come out here. We're just going to spam this Aqua Jet into this slot. Just to get rid of you. And I guess we just keep going for another Flare Blitz, right? We're not Flare Blitz Rock Slide. Okay, so he withdraws that. Pick. That's so tough. Because he comes back into battle. Just ripping. And he's gonna go into Willaboom. Of course you got Willaboom. Of course you got Willaboom. Okay. Of course you got Willaboom. Aqua Jet's gonna fly here, do about negative six. And that Pokemon might have just saved his life. I think I'm gonna need Urshfu. I think Urshfu's an absolute must. I think Urshfu's a must to actually have here. Now we're gonna protect our food, actually. I was gonna swap it here. I was gonna protect it here. I still have Terra too. But it's all just pretty much damage. Actually, I could go fire. I could go fire Terra. I could go fire Terra. I think it's gonna be a play. I think it's gonna be a play. Fire Terra with this thing. Yeah, we're gonna drop Fire Terra. We're gonna go for close combat. And I'm just gonna go for Rock Slide. Fire Terra. They do have Fake Out, but I just don't see them faking out my Urshfu, right? I don't see it. I just don't see it, right? Because I feel like they would rather go for a Grass Guy than a Fake Out. It makes more sense. It makes more sense. But they end up just faking out the Arcanine, which is totally fine. Breaking Swipe coming in here? Yeah, Breaking Swipe. Being a little annoying. Being a tad bit annoying. How much damage is this close combat gonna do? Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Um. It's a play here. I'm gonna get rid of the one. Man. It's gonna start to annoy me. And I'm just gonna go for a Flare Blitz if we can. We'll see. Grass Guy's gonna come out. That's gonna KO us. And Warren Moon probably going for another Breaking Swipe, which isn't that big of a deal. It's not that big of a deal. I guess we're not. So he's just gonna take all my Mystic Water. 
Okay, I feel you. Sturgeon Strike's gonna come across here. Should finish off you, no problem. Getting all those crits. Get this thing on out my face. And now I get to bring out Choice Specs for him. So, I'm forcing him to bring out Ogre Pond with my Urshfu on the field because Urshfu is that Pokemon that's gonna be able to take it out. He could Spiky Shield. Could definitely Spiky Shield, but this Terra was massive. This is such a good battle. This is such a good battle. So, now I get to bring out Flutter. Now I get to bring out Flutter. And my play here is definitely just Aqua Jet spam into the into the Ogre Pond, right? Hands down, right? Like if it's Spike Shields here, it's Spike Shields. I don't see Rollboom doing a big amount of damage and being able to take me out with with what's called next turn. With Grass Guy. So he doesn't spike a shield, beautiful. Aqua Jet's gonna finish him off and we work out things perfectly here. I thought we were in the dumps, and then I was just like, let me check this thing's tower type, because usually it's water. That's what I was thinking, it was water. Didn't really check it pre-game, pre-recording. Then I saw his fire, I was like, this is the most perfect thing ever. And he had high horsepower. That's super surprising, he didn't go for Spike and Shield, he didn't go for high horsepower. We give this Roll Boom a free Focus Ash, but hey, I think um, Aqua Jet could KO, but it, it don't matter. They're <laughs> just turning off their console. They had enough for today. Jeans puts them to bed. There's 2-0 record for you guys. Let's go hop to it there. Look for that 3-0 perfect record. Final match coming at you guys. We're killing it with Corbin. 2-0 on the rank ladder. Let's look to go 3-0 and grab you guys a perfect record for today's video. But going up against Okie Doge and Overfire. Two brand new Pokemon in the Teal Mask DLC. Alongside with Landorus, Shen Pao, uh, Fluttermane, and Tornado. So, not gonna lie, Corbin Knight's not looking bad. Neither is Olamize here for lead. And I kind of want to lead Olamize, considering we haven't used it today. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. We're going to lead Olamize, get a little bit of support action going on for the squad. And I'm going to also lead it with either Arcanine or Corvette. I think like both of them could be good because they both have setup moves, which is just beautiful. We go Corvette just in case Intimidate wants to come out here. And I think Corvette is going to be a solid little Pokemon for us to lead. So we're going to go Corvette. We're going to bring Arcanine in the back end. Actually, no, we're gonna bring Urshfu back in alongside with Titar or Fluttermane. I'm kind of leaning towards Fluttermane here. Kind of lean towards Fluttermane, that's exactly what we're gonna do. Can't go wrong with a good old Fluttermane, right? I feel like whenever you're trying to decide what your final Pokemon is, if Fluttermane is an option, most of the time you should just bring it, because chances are it's going to be, it's gonna help you win the match. And I said that back in like season one or season two when they uh, released Fluttermane into the rank scene. I was like, yeah, well, if you ever are struggling to pick a Pokemon, just pick Fluttermane. <laughs> it really, it really cannot go wrong. And that, that statement still holds true in regulation E, like a whole year later. So they're going to come out here with Intimidate. That is perfect because I'm near armor it. Take that. And I think it's now just a good turn to maybe just set up a Tailwind here. You have Dragon Terror too? That's awesome. But I'll set up a Tailwind just to match energy and I'll go for a bulk up. That's a great turn for us to go for a bulk up. That's a lovely turn for us to go for a bulk up. So they go Tailwind. I go Tailwind as well. Alumise is so cool. <laughs> it's so cool. Obviously, Tornadus is better. You're going to taunt me? Really? You have taunt? Really? You. You right there have taunt. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I'm gonna set up an infestation on you. Um, you know, I'm just gonna start popping iron heads. We might swap that lander. That's why I didn't really want to set up an infestation on that. Sorry, minus one on attack. He's gonna go for bleaking sword. Really? You have taunt on that landers. Definitely a very odd thing to see. You're gonna taunt. You're gonna taunt me too. It's okay. I'm attacking already. I'm already attacking. I'm not playing around. And I got mental. So you want to play with me? You can play with me. We can run that game. Infestation coming out here. We're sending the bugs out. We're getting buggy with it. Iron Head's gonna come out here. Bop. Not bad damage. Would like the better with the bulk up. But I got some leftovers cooking. So right now I got the leftovers cooking. Uh the bugs be doing their work. And honestly, I'll just try to set up an infestation on this slot. 
And I'll just... Oh, no, I can't taunt after being taunted, which is ridiculous. You're not throwing Iron Head in the slot. So we'll double down in the slot. He just ends up protecting. It's my little play there, and then I'll bleak one storm and get rid of my Olomites. But hey, we set up an infestation there. We, uh... We set up a Tailwind as well to counteract their Tailwind. So I'll take that turn. I'll take that. I'll take that. That's all not, That sounds too bad. The problem with it is, what Landers Rocks taunt? I mean, it worked really, really well. It's just still, I'm like, come on, man. I wanted that bulk up. I wanted that bulk up so bad. So I'll get back a little bit of leftovers HP. I'm going to shake off the taunt. So chances are he might be throwing another taunt. But in this instance, I might just go first here. I could go Flutter Me. I'd rather save my Flutter Man, especially with choice, uh, choice specs. Saving that Flutter Man for later is going to be good for us. So, I'll go into Urshu here. Uh, is that a good time to Terror? Maybe. Maybe not. I think we just go Surgeon Strikes and we go for the... Are we go for the bulk up here again? I'm going to go for the bulk up. He's minus one. I'm going for the bulk up. If you want to taunt me again, you can taunt me again. Not that big of a deal. But I know, you, I know you can hit me hard with Bleak and Storm, which is kind of scary. It's a pop and a sunny day. I still feel a certain strikes in KO. I really do. Yeah, it's still going to KO, so that works out perfectly. Because we're going to say bye-bye to Landorus. My taunt is gone. I'm setting up that bulk up I wanted to do on turn one. And we get an amp. Thank you very much. Thanks for coming. And that would be a solid turn to probably terrestrialize Earthshoot, knowing that Bleak and Storm is probably coming out here, right? So now I hit that bulk up, you have type nice, Corviknight's where it's at. Especially with that ability so good too, you know, armor? It's just so good, it just bounces back, stat drops. The Tailwinds are gone, they can set up one here too, if they want to waste another turn doing that. Fine, be my guest. I can definitely see him just going for like a Bleak Wind Storm instead. So I'm still going to Terrestrialize the Urshifu. Yeah, now's a perfect time to Terrestrialize Urshifu. And just... I guess just close combat you. Yeah, I'm going to close combat you, and I'll just go for an Iron Head into this slot. What happened to my bugs? What happened to my bugs? Does Sunny Day take away the bugs? Or when they take out Elamizes, the bugs just go away? I thought I set up an infestation on you. That would have been beautiful. That would have been lovely. So I terrestrialize my Urshfu because I do think Bleak Wind Storm is potentially coming out here, right? I still crash gonna need a cooking. You get a crit on that. Come on, man. Close combat's gonna fly here. It's gonna bring you down to Sash. And really, I'm gonna die out to this Bleak Wind Storm because you got a crit on your Icicle Crash. Get that on out my face. Get that out my face. Can we dodge it? No, we don't dodge it. We don't dodge it. So, we have Flutter Man left, which is gorgeous. And I do have Unseen Fist to hit through Protect. So, I'm going to send an Aqua Jet into the Shen Palace slot. So, whether it protects or not, we're going to KO it. Unless it swaps. And then on top of that, I think we just start throwing. Or we get a nice little special attack boost from the Sunny Day. I think we just start throwing, uh... Dazzling Leads, right? Oh, yeah. With this Protosynthesis boost, we're definitely choosing the Dazzling Leads. It's too good. Now they're in a tricky spot where actually they can get off an Ice Shard, which did a bit too much damage. Really? We're gonna lose this now. That's definitely game. Unless she misses Bleak Wind Storm, that would be the only way we survive and win this. Can you miss it? No, you go for a Tailwind. That's a. That could be that could be detrimental. Going for a Tailwind here. But Dazzling Gleam's gonna finish you off. Yeah! And now we're sitting here with a 2v1 situation. So depending on what their final Pokemon is, we might have a hot shot at win this match. Hope it's a Pokemon that has soul. It's but chance are it's gonna be. It's gonna be. Ooh, Okie Dogie. Okay. So no double hits for Okie Dogie. Um. How many turns are left in this Sun? Two. My defense is already down. I still think we go for a close combat, because they didn't pop Terra, did they? They did not. So I can see him maybe popping a terror. So I'm gonna go close combat here. And I'm stuck with Dazzle Gleam, so we'll go for it. Knockoff comes out here, takes out my Flutter Me. Alright, I see. I understand. 
and he KOs me there. So close combat's also gonna fly here. Do a little bit of damage. And how many turns are left in this Tailwind? Is there two turns left in the Tailwind? Because that would really hurt. There is. I think I have to land double protect in order to win. Definitely protect this first this first turn. I think we're gonna go for double protect. That's the only shot uh, shot at we have to win this match. Right? It's a double protect land because our defense is already so low. It's a double protect, waste out the tail when outspeed, hit him with certain strikes. KO, right? Only shot. So I'm going for it. I'm going for it. Third and final match. We always go for it. We gotta go for it. Come on, man. Double protect. Let's go. Let's go. Nice RNG there. Double protect. Get that tail on out my face. So now all we have to do is pick up a KO. I mean, we have surge strikes. It's stab. Crits are gonna help us out tremendously. And plus, we have the Mystic Waters. Can we do it? Can we do it? That ain't looking good enough. That is not looking good enough. Unless we get a super mega crit here. Could you imagine? It just pops up. Super mega crit. And that <laughs> win the game. Wow, we bring him down the red. Bring him down the red. Knockoff's gonna finish me off. Yeah. Game set match this close to pulling up, pulling that off. That would have been awesome, but hey, I'll take a 2-1 winning record all day with a close third and final match. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Corviknight on the rank ladder is top tier. Absolutely love this Pokemon and love its typing. Its typing works so well up against a bunch of meta Pokemon, making it very easy to set up bulk ups and kind of just get amped for the match that way. But guys, that is going to be for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the blast every day. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.